As a pharmacist, as a dedicated revolutionary, he may not have seemed the best choice to lead the South African Revenue Service. Because how do you mix tax and pharmaceuticals? <laughs> but in him we found an intelligent person who was steeped in enterprise and diligence that made him the perfect person to build one of the most important and effective institutions of our young democracy. It was these attributes that made him the right person to be appointed also the Minister of Finance at a time of great difficulty and challenge for our country during a global economy every task that he was given and in every portfolio he occupied he was methodical and industrious he understood the value of the work that he had been given he understood that efficient revenue collection was essential for the fundamental transformation of our society he understood also that careful management of public finances was vital for the education of our children and the health of our population. He knew that if the lives of the poor were ever to be improved, municipalities needed to work and to work well. He also knew that if unemployed South Africans were to find work, the country's trains needed to run and the ports needed to function properly. And now you have surrendered your strength to the will of your Creator. You were a much admired, much respected and much loved comrade. You were a much loved colleague. And a friend. I'm a